Terraform is a powerful tool in Zero K which lets you sculpt the battle to suit your needs. Every constructor is able to terraform. There are five terraform commands. Caretakers are even able to terraform even though they do not have other construction options. Terraform costs metal and energy just like any other construction project. And I'll just get started with ramp. So the ramp command, given with the hotkey V, Z, using the grid layout, looks like this. You can build a ramp between two points. These little um, fake units are completely invisible to the enemy and just act as a place to assist with your constructors. If you don't want to do a terraform command, you can come back to it later by doing an area repair or just repairing the little structure, the little hard point it yourself. Back to ramp. Ramp makes a ramp from a point to another point. This is very useful for getting our units up cliffs. The ramp color indicates the steepness. A green ramp will be part will be passable by everyone, even vehicles with low slope tolerance. A sort of browny yellow ramp will be only passable by bots and a red ramp will only be passable by spiders. So the spider unit is the only one that's going to be able to use this ramp because it's just far too steep for anyone else. You're not limited in ramp with making a position, making a ramp between two points on the ground, you can make them between two points anywhere. To do this you left click with the ramp command and drag up or down to move this green line to indicate how high your ramp is going to be. You then move the mouse to the end point of your ramp, left click and drag again to change the height. Notice this you get very steep, it goes red, then yellow, then green. And then release, now you get to set the width of your ramp. Notice the mouse is released at the moment. And then press again to actually do the command. This makes you a ramp to any specification you like. There is a final option with the ramp command, which is any time during the command, you can press space to change between only raise, only lower, and the ordinary mode. Only lower, only lowers the terrain in the area. I have taken a cutting out of this ramp, and only raise does the exact same thing, but in reverse. Only raise, only raises. There you can see, I did not lower this ramp, but I made a ramp underneath. So that is the ramp command. The texture on the created terraform indicates what kind of unit can walk on it. A openish texture indicates that everything can walk on it. A closed in, like a close hash texture indicates only bots can walk on it, bots and spiders. And this steep wall texture indicates that only spiders can walk there. If you want to check which units can walk somewhere, press F2 with them selected and it will show their pathing map. Purple means you can't go there and this dark colour means that you slow down. See my glaive can go on the hash texture, my vehicle can only go on the uh, more open one and the spider can of course climb everywhere. So that is the ramp command. Next up is the level command. The remaining the level command has two phases, one which you select where you want to put it and the other one where you select the height. First the where you want to put it phase. You can drag a line, any old shape and release and that will make a line. It will make a line which is then leveled to a certain height. You can cancel a terraform by the way by selecting all of the little things and self-destructing them. If you close off the circle you'll get an area, so this will be an area which I can then build, but I don't want to complete it because it's too large. You can, oop, the X, you can hold Alt and then click to make a nice square, or rectangle sorry. You can hold Alt and Control to make a empty square and you can control click on a unit or a structure to make a little open rectangle around that unit or structure which is good if you want to protect your say your vulnerable economy structures from raiders. 
So that was level. At least that was the giving of level. The, the selecting the area. Selecting the height is a bit different. Once you do this and release, you now have the mouse released and you're in the select height mode. If you hold down control in select height mode, you get to match the height of any of the mouse. So if I now click here, I would match the height of this, the top of this ramp. If I click here, I'd match the height of the top of my little wall, and so on. This is good if you're trying to, of course, do exactly what it is, match the height. If I hold Alt, then the height snaps to certain heights. Negative 2 is the height at which ships cannot pass. And negative 23 is the height at which um, land units cannot pass, because land units are able to pass through shallow water. There's actually a bit of overlap. Ships can walk here and so can land units. That's if, so that's useful to keep in mind if you're trying to keep, say, if you're trying to make your harbour and it would be entered by ships. The final thing you can do is press space to change between only raise and only lower, just like with the um, with the ramp command. Does the same thing. So only lower would just take a cutting out of this ramp. Quite useful if you say you want to flatten a hill to build something on it. You just go, well, I'm going to get this hill, I will lower it, and now it's flat. So this brings me to the next command. Raise. Raise is given in exactly the same way as level. When you draw the area, you can draw a line, you can draw a closed area, you can draw a rectangle, you can draw oops, a open rectangle, and you can finally draw a box around the unit with the same modifier keys, all the same. The difference between raise and level is, of course, level makes it flat, whereas raise keeps the relative height difference within the area. So if I raise this, you can also see in the blueprint, I will end up with just a raised wall. This is useful if you have got some uneven terrain and you want to block off your opponent's units, and you know you need to raise the terrain by a certain amount to make them blocked off, whereas if you level, then they might be able to get through the dips and valleys. Le raise actually supports this quite well, because after you issue the command and are now in height selection mode. Control resets the height to zero and Alt makes the height snap to multiples of six. The reason it does this is because a multiple of is because six is the height required to block vehicles. Vehicles are really quite bad at crossing hills. Furthermore 18 is the height at which bots won't be able to cross. They're actually... This, is, this, this wall is too high for my constructors. So that is raise. A lot like level with a few different things for choosing the height. Of course you can't pick only raise or only lower with raise. That wouldn't make any sense. Next up is restore. Restore is given in exactly the same way again. You draw an area except you don't get to choose the height, the height is set to be back to the original map height. So I could say I want all of this nonsense to be back to the original height, and it goes back. As you can see, given it exactly the same way, you can, in fact, while well, giving it, press space to go... Oh, maybe you can't do that. No, that wouldn't actually... I'm pretty sure you can. There you go. Only raise and only lower. Well, giving the command, you can change between the two. This is save. You don't want to spend all your money on um, reducing the height of an area, but you would like to be able to pass it because it's now, I don't know, maybe it's become waterlogged through artillery usage. Only raise and only lower exists in this case as well. Um, that's it for restore, very simple. Smooth is a lot like restore. It's also got the only raise and only lower. Oh wait, no it doesn't. It doesn't have that. What it does is it smooths the terrain. This allows your units to cross. You can, say, smooth this and vehicles will be able to cross it. It's just if there's any 
sorry, that wasn't re restore. That was that was actually restore, not smooth. It just fixes up little bumps you've got. Say maybe the top of this, the top of this might be inconvenient for my bots to pass. I'll just smooth it a bit. It's a bit of a, a good fixing command. That's it for the five commands. There's one other way to give terraformed commands, which is to select a structure, hold down without any modifier keys. No, actually, hold down and then use the mouse to select a height. So I could say, I want to build this artillery cannon up the top, and it'll do it. Although, that's too expensive, so I won't do that. Instead, I might want to put a stardust up there. So I could say, I want to put a stardust on this hill, and it'll go. I can say, I want to protect my economy by putting it underwater. Because some economy structures can be placed underwater. And it does that for you. You can say, I want a title generator, which is all the same. Uh, note that Terraform cannot make sheer walls. If you make a really high wall, oops, if you make a really high thing, then you'll end up with a pyramid structure, which increases its cost. So terraforming high stuff is often quite inefficient. If you're actually interested in the cost of your Terraform, don't be too worried, it's usually quite cheap but it's in the tooltip, the estimated cost as well as the spend. In the case of pyramids, the estimation is quite bad because you may you may have a cheaper or more expensive terraform depending on what's nearby, but for cheap terraform it's often quite accurate. So this is going to have cost apparently 110 and that's about what it cost. That is it for the terraform command. I hope you Use it in fun and interesting ways to confuse your opponent and block off their stuff and get to interesting places of the map. So, thanks for listening. I hope it's been useful.